soldiers here. I think I'm on the right train. So find out. Good morning from Moscow. Yep, I'm in Russia. Um, I had been, I don't know, this was really spontaneous. When I was in Scotland two weeks ago, I had decided like one night just to um, apply for the Russian visa and did it that night, went up to Edinburgh, put my passport into the um, visa place there and I got it back in a, in a few days and then I decided to go to come over here. Um, I've been here a few times before and I did the Trans-Siberian once uh, in 2020 and I want to do it again. So that's my plan. Um, Getting the visa was not a problem. That was easy. Uh, I was worried about getting in here because I'd heard uh, my passport is messed up. I have lots of, uh, you know, I've got like four Afghan visas, three Iraqi visas, um, uh, tons of Pakistan stamps. So it's uh, it's a dodgy looking passport. Well, my stamps anyway are. So I, I'd heard like a couple of people that had been here be recently and they got questioned for four hours and everything so i will say for me it was not that bad what um i came into um i didn't come into one of the major airports so to get here you have to either come through istanbul or uh, serbia and i can't remember the other place but you can't fly to buy tickets from Skyscanner or, or anything on booking.com. I came into Zukovsky Air, Airport, which is a small airport. I guess it's kind of like the equivalent of Luton or something. Uh, so I came in there. It's very, very small. Um, so they didn't quite know what to do with me, uh, what to make of me. When they put my passport, when they scanned it, the thing, something came up on the screen and then she called her boss. I don't know what came up on the screen. And then they took me to a room and they questioned me for, um, I was in there for a couple of hours. They asked who I was, where did I live, blah, blah, blah. Um, what was I doing here? Um, did I have friends here? Where was I staying? Um, everything. Um, they went through my phone. You know, they went through my, all my, all my pictures. Um, they went through my recently deleted folder because I had deleted some pictures before I came here and I forgot to empty the recently deleted. And the guy would come up to me like this for my face um, to open the phone every time it locked. There, but there was, there was nothing incriminating on there anyway, just some personal things um, that I had deleted. So anyway, after that, um, they called my friend to make sure I was who I said I was this person, a friend that was coming to pick me up from the airport. Um, so that went all, they came and got me. Then I had to sit outside for about an hour while I'm guessing they made some other phone calls. And then um, they let me through and it was absolutely fine. Um, they didn't check through my stuff or anything. They just, the woman was really nice and polite and she just let me go through. And it is a tiny airport, really, really tiny. And my friend was there to meet me and that's it. I got in fine. The next thing I had to figure out was money um, because no credit cards, Visa and MasterCard don't work here. But I had read online, there's this, um, I got myself a, like a, a card. It's a Russian, it's basically the Russian equivalent of what they use now for Visa card. But this is, it's called Tinkoff. Anyway, I dropped it on the floor. It's called a Tinkoff card and you can download the app and then you just order this card, this credit card, and the next day the man comes to your hotel in an envelope with your card in an envelope. And you have to stand like this while he takes a picture of you holding the, the sealed envelope. And then you unseal it and then you get your card. And then he activates your card. And then you can, there's lots of places where you can load money onto this card. It doesn't cost anything either. Um, but I had a friend who wanted some dollars, so I gave him dollars and he put um, money on my card, rubles on my card. So that's it, basically, because it, 
everywhere it's cashless here a lot of places use like to book the, I, I needed this to book train tickets to book um flights anything i want to have so i, I put m a lot of my money on here so that's that um i've been here for two days yesterday i did nothing because um when i was in scotland i had an accident i fell uh on my birthday i was my i was being stupid i was um dancing on a table which toppled over onto a, a stool which i landed on full force with my ribs and i have broken a few ribs and bruised the rest of them so i mean it hurts it really hurts so last time god last time i traveled with a broken finger this time i'm traveling with broken ribs um, I'm not sure how how easy this is going to be, especially like getting my stuff on and off trains. But we'll see. Um, my plan is to, um, I'm leaving here tomorrow to go to Kazan and then um, heading over to Siberia. And we'll see. I just, I'm not here to talk about politics or anything like that. I'm going out and to explore and we'll see what there is to see. I'm going to go just over to Red Square, just to the main area for a little bit and see what's there. I have maybe three weeks, maybe less. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to go with the flow and see how my ribs hold up because they're killing me um, right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going out to explore, so I'll see you later. Okay, first thing I've got to do is find the subway. And we all know what I'm like with my directions on Google. There's all these little uh, bookshops here. I've never stayed in this area before. Oh, look at that cute carousel. Not very busy, but it is uh, Monday morning. How did that happen? It's rerouting me. Okay, I'm in a metro station now. So I've got a metro, a metro map also. So I take this for one stop, get on the first car to get off at this next place. Very dead, but it's not busy time. R bat something. I remember some of the letters, but not all of them. That's not my train. Mine is on here. I'm so bad at directions. Here's my train. Oh, I said to get on the first car. Not on the first car. Oh, I think I'm on the right train. Should we find out? Oh. Up there. Okay, I'm going here. So confusing. When I have my contact lenses in, I need reading glasses to read. Um, just when I have my contacts in. So, having to look at a map, get my reading glasses on, which is really difficult with that, my hat on. It's a disaster. I'm a disaster. I'm a traveling disaster. Let's see if this is the right way. Oh, so down here should be my train. I'm gonna have to look at my map. Love these old metro stations. Let's see what it says on the sign up here. Okay, now I just wait. I get so confused everywhere I go. So that other side was for Bolshoi Theatre. This side here is for Red Square. Uh, last time I was here, I got so lost. Surprise, surprise! Here's all the things. I'm not going to museums. I just want to get out. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Let me figure this out in private. All right, there's about <laughs> one to seven exits here, and I couldn't understand what the hell any of them meant. So I'm just going to go and weigh it and see where I go. All right, I'm going this way. Ah, oh, Red Square. There are little shops here. But I'm gonna have to go and find something to eat really quickly. Because it's snowing. 
And the weather's shit. Hi! I made it to Red Square. You can't see very much. I swear, I looked on the weather thing today and it said, no snow. They lied. I think I can find the big department store. Goom. I think it's in here somewhere. Take a moment to take it in. Last time I came, uh, in 2020, 20, 20, it didn't snow at all when I was in Moscow. Not even one day it didn't snow. So it's making up for it this time and, it, and it's March. There's the, the Kremlin, but over there you can't see it. There's still people taking pictures and posing. This is, I don't know what they're doing here. Maybe they're taking up a part of the ice rink. Okay. This is a department store. A very fancy one. I've been in here before. Boom. Every time I come, I come here, actually. It's really like, it's the fanciest place. I'm just curious. Woo. Okay, so here's Prada. I don't know if it's actually open. Dior looks closed over there. Oh yeah, Dior is closed. I don't feel like walking around the whole place. It sounds like all the action is downstairs. Most things are open. To be honest, I thought most things would be shut. There's a restaurant upstairs. Another song on. It's funny. I should be downstairs. But it seems like everything is just open as it was before. The only thing I see different is that's closed is uh, Dior. Um, I'm going upstairs because there's a there's a restaurant up there. I'm starving. I guess it's supposed to be springtime. No food. But, uh, I think up here. Is the electrical stores? I'm not sure. But you know, that looks closed. Can't tell if Bose is open or not. La Perla, Wolford. There's a cafe here that. Oh, here. Get some food. It's kind of like a rest, uh, cafeteria. It's a cafeteria sort of thing. Where you, you pick your own stuff. Where nobody speaks English. All the cakes. Everybody lined up and me not knowing what half the things are. It's in English. There's quite a selection here. I keep, get, get, I keep gathering more stuff as I go along. I don't have a drink yet. And then it's getting awkward to film. So I'm going to put this away before I go for lunch, some Russian salad. 
cake soup and a toasted sandwich. I thought they would maybe toast it, but it's cold. But it's a really busy place. When I was here last time, someone brought me here, and uh, uh, she told me how cheap it was, and it's huge, and it has everything. So this is in the top of the room, a really expensive place, expensive mall. So I'm going to eat this, and then maybe it stops snowing when I go out, but I'm going to go down to the bottom floor. Right, I'm going downstairs now. I don't want to keep harping on about this, but I really expected to come in here and not see very many um, Western brands here at all. So maybe I don't understand. That's just what I thought. I really wasn't expecting it. Look, you can get your hair cut in the mall in front of everybody. yet myself but it's apparent with these kind of places that they have a lot of money I'm getting ready to go outside again I hope it's not snowing it's snowing it's a bit clearer now though you can see St. Basil's 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 Cathedral the infamous iconic site of Moscow somewhere I've been many times not really in the snow though. It's never snowed like this when I've been here. Not many tourists. Well, some Chinese ones. Now the sun came out. All right, so where now? I just wanted to come here and see this. I just wanted to see what the atmosphere was like here. If it was crowded, uh, and it's not really. I think that's the ice rink that they're taking away. They always have an ice rink here and Christmas shops in January but it's March now I need to put my gloves on everybody has fur around their hoods I look a bit weird I've decided I need a next year I need a coat with fur around it because otherwise I look looks a bit weird compared to everybody else I'm trying to listen to everybody's accents and so far um, I'm just hearing Russian accents. I haven't heard many um, Westerners. Thought I heard an American over there, but I might be wrong. This is Lenin's, uh, where Lenin is. Lenin himself, his mausoleum, where his body is, in there. I never went to see it. I think it's only open on certain times, but I never went any of my times here. I can't remember the name of this street with the sparkly lights. Wow, they're really nice at night time. The church. Here we go. This was all snowing when I came in here before. There's not, um, ugh, there's not, there's not that many police around. I thought there'd be loads of police everywhere. I really haven't seen many at all. Uh, where I've been, this is the main area, or uh, the Kremlin and everything. I just saw like maybe one or two police cars. <sighs> I'm going home. Russian Oh my god, I don't remember where I came in either. I don't know where the metro is. Every time I've been here before, this is packed. Really busy. up 
here again because I came down when I wasn't supposed to. I went on the wrong, uh, I went down there. I'm on the wrong platform. I got lost. Back up here. I'm trying to find the right platform. I even have this app on my phone. I, did, I missed it somehow, but I didn't have my reading glasses on. Oh. Try again. Up here. Has to be. It's Mr. Busker. Now the sun's come out and it's gorgeous out. So I'm lost again. I think I'll have to get my map out, but I think I'm over there. Jesus, I spent my whole time getting lost, even with Google Maps. Oh no. Calm down. I'm not lost. I see things I remember. I'm crying. So this area at night is absolutely really gorgeous with everything lit up. Russians like their light. They like their lights. Everything at night is all lit up. Um, is that the McDonald's? The, not, that was McDonald's. You recognize the sign up there. Hi. <laughs> Somebody waving. I will try the McDonald's, but not yet. At some point I will. <laughs> uh, I know where I am. I'm right down here. Next to this church. Um, oh, New Arbat Street, I think. This, I am, this is New Arbat and Old Arbat's down here. Which I should really go to. I can't be bothered right now. You know what, I'm going to take a walk down here. Because it looks interesting. There's a policeman. Police. Rescuer. Thank you, Ernie. Restaurant. Cafe. I can read some. Now it's coming back to me, my um, alphabet letters. Oh, look, it's one of those old oots. Like I, when I was on Lake Baikal, I went on one of these. Oh, but they're so missing. cool. If it's kind of boring around here, I'm just going to have a. Ah, okay, I know where I am now. Very stylish people around here with a fur coat, designer stuff. I don't think I'll be walking around here that long. It's really cold. Nice pictures. Squirrels, robins, some babushkas. Change hands. Oh, so it's like the Taj Mahal restaurant. Yes. Here's Starbucks coffee. I should go there. Stars Coffee, not Starbucks anymore. But when I was here years ago, this is exactly where it was. So they've just basically taken over. Ch just changed the names on everything. I'm gonna go in and see if they speak English. Okay. Um, can I have a flat white? Oh, uh, yeah. Please. Thank you. Okay. So everything I Emma. I'd see these everywhere. I can't remember where else I saw them. You just rent a power thing to charge up your thing. What country did I see them in? I can't remember. Japan. I think it was Japan I saw them in. I'm in at the cold having my Stars coffee. It even has my name on it. Ah, uh, so... Nothing's changed. Except the name. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. Very weird. I don't quite know how I feel. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be doing a crazy amount in Moscow because that was not what I came here for, really. I came here for the rest of the country, the, the lesser known part of the country um, that tourists are less likely go to want to get out. I usually try and get out of Moscow, so I'm getting out of here tomorrow. This was just today, just a quick day. So, bye for now. There's some injured sold soldiers here. Back for my exploration day. It was so cloudy earlier, now it's beautiful.
All right, so I'm gonna sign off now and goodbye from here.